We're going to talk about a beanbag problem for theoretical probability in this video. This comes from the homework, and they want to randomly throw it on here. The mistake people make is they try to go directly to getting the answer. On here, on a problem like this, you want to first go to the diagram and label what each um, portion is is probability wise. How much of the whole rectangle or whole square is each piece? So I suggest when you're doing these problems to start with the biggest piece first. So what I mean by that is we're going to look at this and we're going to look for the biggest piece first. So I'm going to outline these pieces here first. So what I mean by that is I'm looking for the biggest pieces first, which are the two center pieces. So if I look at those and equally divide them up, you should see that there are six pieces that are equally divided in this diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and label the two middle pieces, because they're the whole piece, as one-sixth. Now I'm going to look at the upper left-hand corner. That rectangle currently total is one-sixth, but we've now halved that, so one-sixth times a half will give me one-twelfth. I divided that into an equal amount of prop, um, portions. The original big yellow rectangle is one sixth, and we halved it, so we multiplied by a half. So same idea for down here, even though the drawing looks a little different, it's still halved. So that is going to be one twelfth, one twelfth. Similar idea over here for the other two pieces. The last one we're looking at is the upper right hand corner, and if I'm looking at this upper right hand corner, this rectangle, which I'm going to again label in orange, still start off as one sixth, and we have now divided into three pieces. So dividing by three is the same thing as multiplying by one third. Remember probability should be between zero and one, so the probability of each one of those pieces is 1 18th. Now, you are expected to have this problem in fraction form. Your calculator can assist you with these pieces as well. So now that we've done this, I don't want to even look at what I was trying to solve for. Now I'm going to look at what I want to solve for. Now it says I want green or red. So I'm going to start with the green pieces first. This is green. This is green. This is green and this is green. So I'm going to add those probabilities together. So going from the top down, I have 1 18th plus 1 18th for the top two right hand corner, plus 1 6th in the center, plus 1 12th on the right hand side. So again, we can get a common denominator here. We can add them however we want. Um, in this case, these are already common denominator, which gives me 2 over 18. I could easily get a common denominator between these two, which would be multiplying by 2 over 2, which would give me 2, two twelfths plus 1 twelfth, which is 3 twelfths. Again, I got a common denominator there. Now looking at these two, again, I need a common denominator and a common denominator between these. Now I could simplify both of them first, but if I wanted to go ahead and get a common denominator between the two, I would multiply to get 36 as a denominator, so I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. And that's going to give me 4 over 36. And this one I would multiply by 3 over 3, which would give me 9 over 36, which would give me 13 over 36. That is my probability for green. If it just asked for green, that would be my answer. It cannot be simplified. This also asks for or, which means include it, red. Red don't overlap, so we're going to take each one of the red ones. So we have a 1 12th, we have a 1 18th, we have a 1 12th, and we have a 1 12th. So I'm going to go ahead and add together my common denominator ones that are already in that form, which is going to give me 3 twelfths. Again, common denominator here would be 36 between these two, so I'm going to multiply the first one by 3 over 3 which gives me 9 over 36, this one by 2 over 2, 
which is going to give me 2 over 36. That would give me a probability for red only as 11 over 36. This asks for or, so probability of green or red, and they do not overlap, so I'm going to add them together. Or means include more, so remember we're going to make, basically know that we should be getting a bigger probability here. When we add these two together, I'm going to get 24 over 36. We keep the denominator add across. You are expected to simplify this. You can reduce it by 2 first. You can reduce it by 3 first. It's best to look for the biggest piece that you can divide into it, which would be 12. So 24 divided by 12 should give you 2. 36 divided by 12 should give you 3. My answer for this problem is 2 thirds. First, first, please draw your picture and label it on your paper. Do not try to do it in your head.